For those who celebrate Christmas, Christmas Eve and Christmas morning can be an exciting time of anticipation. And many individuals find that they end up losing significant sleep, whether it's difficulty falling asleep because they're so excited and anticipating the adventures of the next day, waking up early. And so one of my colleagues, Dr. Michael Grandner, a few years ago put out a list of tips and tricks to help people to optimize their sleep the night before Christmas and Christmas Day. On this list, some of the strategies that were included included waking up early on Christmas Eve. When we wake up earlier the day before, we are starting to build up that sleepiness throughout the day, which means that it's going to help us to be able to feel more tired when it's time to go to bed on Christmas Eve, even though we may be feeling that excitement and anticipation. So that sleepiness, that sleep inertia makes it easier for us to be able to fall asleep, even though that level of excitement is there. When we are up throughout the day also, it's gonna be important to get plenty of light and activity. We know that light helps to work with our circadian rhythm, it helps to keep us active. When we're more active throughout the day, then that energy buildup is going to help to make us more tired, which will make it easier to fall asleep that evening so that we can make sure that we're getting the proper rest for the next day. Also, we know that our wind down routines are very important for sleep. So consider a start your wind down routine even earlier on Christmas Eve, giving yourself that opportunity to be able to work through any of that, again, excitement, to really get your body in that mode and your mind, to know that it's time to decompress and to be able to sleep. And if there are going to be activities that you're gonna do extra, like putting out milk and cookies or reading a certain book, that we start that earlier and then we make sure that we're getting into that sleep routine that our body knows to help us to be able to trigger sleep to be able to fall asleep. You may wanna be cautious about also considering sleep-friendly foods, knowing that it's really easy to engage in more of the sugary cookies and treats for the holidays, but knowing that that can have an impact, as well as for individuals that are engaging with alcohol use and how that can also have a significant impact on disrupting sleep and more fragmented sleep. So we wanna make sure that we're sticking to our bedtime routine so we have some of that consistency for our bodies and minds to know when it's time to sleep. Also, it's important to have a plan for your presence for the next day and make sure that everyone is aware of what that is. If it's the fact that you're going to wake up in the morning, but that you're going to eat breakfast first to make sure you get that nutrition or for people to know when presents are gonna be opened, then that is going to help to reduce some of that anticipation, some of that excitement, people getting up at different times. And that's what's going to play into the fact of beginning your morning right and having that plan in place. We know that it's important that when our body wakes us up and we feel like we're awake, we don't wanna just lay in bed and be tossing and turning but set a plan that it's okay if someone gets up early, but that they are not going to be able to wake anyone else up and that everybody is going to be able to wake up when their bodies are ready and that presence will not be open until everyone wakes up. So then there's less likelihood that someone is gonna wake someone else up and that everybody can follow those natural plans for what their bodies need. We also know that it can be a very stressful time for some individuals. So when we're getting better quality rest, it helps us to have a clearer mind, to have a better balance of our emotions and truly be able to enjoy the positive components of the holidays. Be well.